Good evening and thank you for joining us. Stellantis and LG Energy Solutions say the $5 billion electric vehicle battery plant is back on track. This comes after a stalemate at the construction site over government funding that put the brakes on at least part of the project back in May. CTV's Travis Fortnum joins me now in studio with the latest. Travis, 54 days of uncertainty has now come to an end. Yeah, Stephanie, 54 days, seven weeks, and just like that tonight, the company is confirming a deal has been reached. Many here have been anxiously watching this all unfold. Some who probably thought this was a done deal a year ago when the plant was announced, but all that called into question after Stellantis hit the brakes. Many suspect after hearing how much money the federal government offered Volkswagen for a comparable plant in St. Thomas. Experts saying the automaker could pull out of Windsor and set this shop up stateside for a better deal under the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. Ontario Premier Doug Ford came out saying the province would be putting more money on the table, with Ottawa apparently coming in with the rest. I caught up with Windsor's mayor shortly after word broke tonight. He characterizes this seven-week stalemate as a national embarrassment for the city and says now a weight's been lifted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as soon as I heard that this was, you know, somehow in jeopardy, it was the biggest weight I think I felt uh, in my time as mayor. But that's behind us now. So let's let's consider that the past. Let's look forward to the future. And that's the, con the finalizing of construction, getting that plant open, getting it fitted inside, getting 3,000 people hired, uh, and realizing uh, Windsor's place as the auto capital of Canada. You heard the mayor there. Thousands of jobs expected to be created by the EV battery plant itself, with thousands more in spin-off jobs anticipated for Windsor's economy. Unifor Local 444, that's the union expected to represent the bulk of the workers at the plant, well, at the plant that is, once it opens, telling CTV News this is huge. Yeah, I mean, this is this is about our kids, our grandkids. This is this is generational now. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, you know, in the manufacturing business, it's been up and down, and we all know a cyclical, you know, it goes up, it goes down. There's high points, there's low points. I've been there 30 years, and I've seen this my entire tenure, and uh, this today is just, is just, is just wonderful news. Canada's Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland and Minister of Innovative Science and Industry Francois-Philippe Champagne issued a statement saying this agreement is good for workers and it is good for Canada. It will create and secure thousands of jobs both in the auto sector and in related industries across Canada and will further solidify Canada's place as a leader in the global electric vehicle supply chain. Now, this is a binding agreement, meaning all construction at the site has been given the green light to get going again. It also means, according to Mayor Dilkins, the plant is even more official than it was when shovels hit the ground. Hiring at the plant was expected to start later this year, with the plant initially expected to open in 2024. We'll just have to see if this seven-week pause has pushed that back any. Stephanie. Okay, and we have more local reaction on this breaking news online at ctvnewswindsor.ca. Thank you for this, Travis.